Hey everybody, this is Denise at Forest Grove Micro Farm and from the barn. Poor thing needs painting, but my guys are outside today helping me check out the garden. Phoenix is over there somewhere. Jewel is at my feet. Jewel? Well, she was at my feet. Say hi, Jewel. And it's kind of sort of not really warm here in Ohio, so I'm gonna try to get started on this poor garden. I'm out here in the garden today, and that last storm just about finished me off. There's all kind of debris here that needs to be picked up from all the wind blowing the past couple of days. And although the forsythias look like they're starting to bloom, uh, there's not much else going on here. Uh, we could see, let's have a look. See right there, the asparagus is starting to come up, or at least this one is. I don't see any for that guy over there, and this needs to be weeded badly. And there's some uh, peeking up over there. So hopefully I'll try to get out Monday or so if it doesn't pour down raining and get that taken care of. The onions, what happened was, or actually no, those, I can't remember. Onions, garlic, those are onions. Um, they just kind of got relocated everywhere thanks to the squirrels. And so I dumped them out somewhere and they all wound up, as you can see, there's just like, they're everywhere. So they're just kind of come up everywhere. I'm gonna have to gather them up again and put them where they need to be. But they look like they're, they're doing pretty good. And I can't even tell which one of those is the garlic. And there's some in the boxes, which is where they were supposed to be, but this got tipped over. So they're not here in this one anymore. At least I know where they're at. Hey, Joel. These are the collards and the mustards from last year coming up. And I had a big problem with uh, powdery mildew. So I didn't harvest any of these guys last year. And they're going to go to seed soon. And I'll use that seed, which is what I've been doing with them for the longest time anyway. So this same crop, I think it's been maybe three or four years. And... Uh, they're all over the yard, as close to this as possible. I've actually moved this over a few feet so that my brother could put down the patio. Like I said, now it's just a mess back there. Um, I emptied out some of the rabbit pans, and that's what that is right there. And then it poured down rain, so I haven't picked it up. Got this sketchy little kale growing over here. It's gonna bolt. That's gonna be really nice. I'll collect those seeds too. That's the same kale that's been there maybe three years, I think roughly for that one. And then there's just a tiny arugula over there. And oh, I'll see another one over there too. So hopefully I'll be able to get this all scraped up and weeded and done. And these are the collards over here and a little more arugula with the collards. And then this plot last year, nothing grew. I put the seeds and nothing actually grew. I don't know what happened there. Normally, I seed directly into the ground. I sow um, and start in May, sow directly into the ground. But this year, I decided that I would um, try something a little different. I was actually going to start the seeds indoors. And so I did, or I thought I did. I made a huge mistake, I should have known, is I put some coffee grounds, too much coffee grounds, into the material, um, into the soil, and it pretty much completely molded over when I wasn't looking at it real good. So I gotta fix that. So that's the start of the gardening for this year. And hopefully, um, by mid-May, I'll have everything everything for that season put down, planted. And I'm gonna make sure I do it early this year because last year I waited too late and sowed a little later and that I couldn't replace anything with uh, plants from Home Depot or Walmart or Gales or whatever I had locally. It was too late by then. So this time I'm gonna make sure I have everything planned out correctly. Most of what I'm planting is going to be heritage varieties. So here's this short video, and then uh, 
I mean, it's a little crazy looking now, but it's going to be a start to finish. So in a month or so, it'll look totally different than this. All right, catch you later. Garden update number two. And yes, I'm going to do this in the rain in my little urban plot. Say hello to the hood. Okay, now, just barely getting leaves on the trees. are starting to leaf out. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me. Some kind of construction going on. But anyway, I got the peas in the ground. You can't really even see those poor guys. But look at these asparagus. They just like shot up overnight. Bam. And my little seedlings from the other day are starting to pop up. Little seedlings. There they are all over the place. More little seedlings. And the collards are bolting. Sorry about that little bag over there. I gotta get that garbage bag. Here are the collards. Collards. And the onions are all in. Some more asparagus. And I hadn't really quite expected them to come up so fast. And it rained and it was hot and it rained. And so I still have to make this all neat and clear. And by next week, this will look all neat and clear and official. Hi everybody, this is Denise from Foursquare Micro Farm. And this is the bare bones truth. This is the part of the garden no one ever shows you. They always show you this nice worked over beds and they're getting ready to plant. But in this case, this is not what's happening. Uh, it's about mid-May here and we're just now getting into the growing season. And what happens is I leave my kale and the collards and the arugula to go to seed. And they've got the, the garlic and the onions coming up. So I didn't do any heavy weeding except in that far back patch uh, because a lot of times I don't know what's friend or foe. I've got things coming up from seeds um, that have been in the ground in the winter time. So I'm just really not getting this started. And it, it hasn't even been the last frost yet. It's not the last frost date on the calendar or it might've been like this week. So really just getting started. So those are the dragon tongue uh, beans and I actually started those indoors or in a closed container and so they're a lot further along than you know most things normally would be and then these are the peas and the peas are kind of hardy so they're direct sown anyway so you see them coming up and then there's that purple weed back behind there that I've, I've got to go ahead and get that out which is what I'm doing now and preparing that in there now what I really wanted you to see and, uh, you know, I always make everything in segments and I have to kind of go back because it's been a month and find the segment is the arugula. I'm not the arugula. I'm sorry. It's the asparagus. And see, here's my problem. Because I didn't expect the asparagus to come up like the beginning of May, I didn't do anything to it. And it was so cold in April, pretty much still snowing. And I didn't come out and work this. So next thing I know, I look up and I've got asparagus coming up out of this terrible little patch here. And so we're just now getting the good temp. So I have to come and try to pick all these little guys from out of uh, the, the patch and all the little garlics and things that fell over at the end of the year. So by the beginning of June, I'll have this all cleaned up and everything the way it's supposed to be. And then you'll have this, you'll get to see this really nice neat tidy garden that I normally have through the spring and the summer months still waiting for those collards to go uh, into uh, the seed and I'll plant those guys out and I've got a new bunch of things coming up